Hey everyone, and welcome back to another wonderful and exciting episode of this Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. Um, it's actually been a while since I've been able to do any um, recording and stuff. Um, life's been pretty crazy, and not exactly in, in you know a, a good way, but nobody wants to hear about that. So. Today, what we're doing is heading over to Corliss and picking up everyone's favorite Krogan Babby grunt. Um, for this particular mission, I'm actually not entirely sure um, about uh, who I want to have go with me, but usually, I think for this particular playthrough, I I've been planning on using uh, Miranda, and once I get her, Samara throughout. Miranda's obviously got the, the handy ability to strip uh, both types of protection from people, and there's going to be a lot of that in this particular level as far as shields and armor go. I don't think anyone has bar uh, bar barriers. I think the boss might have barriers, but there might be... Sh I, I, I don't remember. The point is, I need warp and overload. Um, the only other person that I have that can do that is Zaid. So we'll be taking Zaid as well. Garrus is a decent choice. He's just too squishy. Do a little bit of leveling, which um, I really kind of need to put points into uh, Assault Mastery. Whatever the hell this is. Mercenary. Um, and here I actually go for the weapon damage. I think I go for weapon damage. Um, over the health bonus. Because it, Zaid's pretty, it, he's not the, you know, tankiest guy in the world, but he does okay. He's got plenty of health and shields, and really what you want to do with him is crank out just as much damage as you possibly can. Um, especially since he's actually using the, um... Uh, the the gun, the, the thing that does the stuff. You know the one. You know the one. You know that thing. Yeah, the incisor. I don't know why I was thinking I was going to call it the viper, but I knew that wasn't right. The incisor is the one that fires a three-shot burst. It's great against shields, but overall it doesn't do that much damage, so 50% damage boost is very noticeable. Especially when you factor in the one that Miranda also applies. So, it's good stuff. This planet by choice. Assume hostiles. Kill or be killed. That doesn't sound like fun. Charming. Stay focused. We're I don't know what to do with Miranda's voice. Was just there. Suddenly, so quiet. I mean, when you think Krogan Warlord, I realize you think shithole. And this place, uh, definitely, definitely meets that requirement. I mean, I wouldn't say this is exactly like Tuchanka, but I also wouldn't say that it's that far away from being Tuchanka. Up. Look up, post ahead, and they know we're here. Oh, hey, look, new friends. That hurts. I get into cover. Because I don't like being shot. Surprising, I know, but here we are. Honestly, I recorded this quite some time ago. So, I don't exactly remember what the hell I was doing. I would be honest. But I do remember this. Charge. Boom. Boom. All dead. The heck? What? What the heck? Perhaps I was having some kind of trouble with my mouse. 
That happens from time to time. Lately, I've been having issues with my um, desktop. You know, I'll, I'll be you know doing something Shit. or whatever, and it'll Shit. just randomly tab out of whatever it is I'm doing. Bleeding. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't understand it. Bitch. And it's really only it when I. Bad, um, need to know that. You know, when I'm trying I to play some kind of a game or something, ah, I just, Your I don't get, or alliance. I don't get it. I'm not, I'm not telling you anything. I bet you will tell me something. Get a nice application of Metagel ready to go. But if you'd rather I just keep walking. Yeah, either way, I'm not actually going to give him this Metagel. I, just, I don't know anything. I, I just shoot the overflow from the labs. The old Krogan I'm up there, he, he's really been cleaning house lately. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Amen to that. Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. What's he talking about? Jador runs a Blue Sun's outlier, and she's making Krogan for an army. But they all come out crazy, tough as hell, but just insane. Stupid. You could hire an army of mercs for cheaper than that. I don't know. I, I just point and shoot and bank my credits. Maybe there's something better in the labs. You heard the man on the radio. He needs direction. He needs I I don't direction. have the info they want. You should Jennifer have Hale pulls off being sightings. really threatening really, problems. really well. She's an amazing voice actress. Patrol, uh, uh, pack sighting east of station uh, two. Uh, yeah. patrol, uh, two. bitch. They'll run blind into Krogan. You're a bitch. What is Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Fuck you, Replace buddy. Replace us, probably. I sure I'm here trying to save the galaxy, and you want to be a dick about it. Them. Fuck you. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Zing. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the lab. I try not to talk But everyone too much sees what happens there. when the Krogan you know, come out. Overs. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. You should be. If you're fighting you freaking you Krogan foot soldiers, why are you not... Out. How are you not outfitted shit. to fight oh, commandos? Oh. That's basically what they are. Was Only they don't have guns. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is... Wish I could remember how to turn off origin notifications. Why am I reloading this? What? What's going on here? What is this? What is this? Are you serious? Why am I doing this over again? Answer me, damn you. Really? Really? Is this, is this really happening? Mercenary Warlord. You notice I take the arc projector a lot on the missions. Specifically because my Shepard doesn't really have a way to deal with shields, personally. Other than, um, the Locus. Um, once I get a little further into the game, I'm actually going to take Reeve as my bonus power. So, hooray! But, we're looking for a Krogan warlord. Um, while that will give me uh, a way to strip armor and sh uh, barriers, it doesn't really leave me with anything for shields. You fight a lot of people with shields in the interim. Like, a lot, a lot. Heads up, look up, post ahead, and they know we're here. Most of your pumps with barriers are collectors anyway. It's like, hey, whatever. Hey, look at that, I took less damage this time. That's right, Miranda. Something about going to a place of things. Ow. Bullets hurt. They're not really bullets so much as shards of metal. Come on. Understood. That. Shotgun out. Engaging Means it's time to charge. There we go. Boom. You're dead. Punch you, and you're dead. All dead. Such death. Very die. And we'll switch guns. To the pistol. 
But how did I know? Shit, shit. I won't stop bleeding. Blah, 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 I'm, blah, blah. I'm gonna. I think I should get through some of the dialogue here, bad, actually. since we've he actually, you know, gone through it already. Oh, but I could be wrong. Who Your knows? Mercs or alliance? I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. Your mercs or alliance? I've got a nice I'm not telling you anything. I guess it I just could be walking. worse. It could be Steve Blum voicing Son him. I just. Wink. I don't know anything. I just shoot the overflow from the labs. I will say that this there, is one of Steve Blum's better really roles because you can't actually tell if that's him. him that's something I really appreciate. Um, so we use them for they do the same thing training. with uh, Claudia Black as well, I don't get paid enough where, to you know, most of the time, you're hearing Claudia Black. You know you're hearing Claudia Black. Her voice is very distinctive. What's he talking but, about? Um, in Mass Effect, you really can't tell if that's her. But they all come out crazy. Even people who are fans of Claudia Black a lot of the time, Stupid. they're like, whoa, you could what the fuck? Like when you tell them, them, hey, that's Claudia Black, I, I just point they don't actually realize it. My credits. So. Maybe there's something better yeah, than the last. We know. Shut up. You Stop talking. On the radio. Let's get this uh, show on the road. I, I don't Galaxy's not going to save want. itself, dude. You showed up before I could get my normal sightings. You have Come, other on. Problems. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why can't I just shoot Patrol, this guy? Uh, uh, pack sighting east of station two. Yeah. Copy. East of two. Bitch. They'll run blind into Krogan. Seriously, why? Why can't Her I just shoot this guy? Only she can't control them. Blah, 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 crazy, blah, blah, blah. Krogan. Have you seen Okir? We can't go in the labs. Sorry, I'm kind of cranky right now. Is the door's lab heavily guarded? They're hungry. There are big guns to keep ships I away. I swear to God, if We're those not to fight stupid dogs do not stop barking, I am going now, you might find a shady spot before to you call out. Cruella DeVille, and we're having a new blanket around here. Oh, you know what I mean? Do you know I what I nice mean? Touch. Maybe I I'll wander so. around. I was like Hercules, wearing the skin as some kind of cloak. Although it won't have the same effect because it will be a dog instead of a lion. And there's few things quite as intimidating as having a lion's head around your head. Ow. You guys are dicks. That's waxing. What the? What? Shepard, what are you doing? What are you doing? That is not how you cover. It's not how you a lot of things, frankly. But, here we are. Ow! I told you to stop shooting me. You didn't want to listen. So now, I will kill you. It's just what's going to happen here. Also, Zaid's CC ability uh, with um, concussive shot. Super helpful. Super helpful. And as we move along. Get some cover. Shoot us some people. It occurs to me that this particular playthrough, you know, thus far, has kind of been lacking in, um, you know, charging and jack people's faces up, you know, vanguard style gameplay. And for that, I apologize. However, there's not a whole lot you can do about it in some places where you just can't charge people or whatever. Um,. That is one of the bigger differences between Mass Effect 2 and 3. Um, Mass Effect 3, even on Insanity, going in and just charging, you know, even crazy stuff like an Atlas or Banshee or whatever, has almost no repercussions whatsoever because you can dodge roll out of the way and, you know, things like that. It's much safer. I'm using finger quotes here. Safer to, you know, dive into a group of enemies with charge and just ruin their day in Mass Effect 3. Whereas if you do it in this one, 
a lot of times you'll be, you know, kind of carelessly charging in, and you're going to get yourself killed. Because cooldown on charge is not instantaneous. That's why it's called a cooldown. Sorry about that. For those of you who can tell... And for those of you who can't, I may be muted on and off here and there, because I do have uh, the sniffles. But I wanted to get this recorded. So here we are. Did I just see a Skype notification? While playing the game? I think I just did. Someone signing in. There we go. Let's go this way. I'm gonna shoot you some more. But also charge you. And then uh, run back here to cover. I'm gonna do it again. You guys, you're in a, uh, out of bounds. You're in and out of bounds. You are out of the bounds. Thusly, I cannot charge you. Henceforth and so on. Anyway, so after I finished Mass Effect 2, um, I'm really not sure what where, 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 where. not really sure where I want to go with this. Um, I could certainly go directly to Mass Effect 3, but I've also been kind of itching to play, you know. Um, Castlevania, although... Oh god, this. Help! Help! Him in distress! Help me! As you can see, I'm stuck on the cover. So, because this isn't the first time this has happened, it's time for a reload. Anyway, as I was saying, um... What was I saying? Oh, right. Um, I do want to do a, um... A let's play of the uh, Lords of Shadow series um, but in order to do that I, I do want to make sure that my first one which is obviously the first game Castlevania Lords of Shadow um, I want to do that on the Paladin difficulty so I'm extremely slowly working my way through the, uh, the game itself Um, and then once I finish it, I can, um, you know, go through and play, uh, do a recording and play that on the Paladin with some commentary. Um, but I also, uh, I've really lately been, you know, kind of getting the itch to get back into Dark Souls 2. Um, especially now that I have, like, real and proper internet that can really do, like, multiplayer stuff. Um, that's actually a problem I had with my first playthrough was, uh, I couldn't really, you know be summoned into other people's games for assistance, so my dreams of being the greatest sun bro that ever was shattered. Anyway, now that I have good internet, I can actually do that. Um, and of course there's, you know, Payday, which um, has gotten a, a pretty significant update recently um, as far as changes to the way the skill sets and things like that work. Couple of new heists, they're still coming out with DLC, blah blah blah. So, you know, maybe a couple of those videos, I'm not really sure. Um, one thing that I have decided on though, once the preseason ends, I'm actually gonna start recording my um, it may be just some normal games, but I'm mostly gonna be focusing on recording ranked games in League of Legends. Ow, motherfucker, I really hate the guys with the, the heavies with the missile launchers because they can really easily stun lock you with those missiles and open you up to everyone else just fucking you up so badly you really gotta kill them quickly what's this music it's firing it makes me want to go you know raid a base Rescue a Krogan Warlord. Save the galaxy. 
with space magic and guns. And nano machines. I was thinking also about um, actually going and doing a um, like a let's play for different classes in this. Uh, I will never play as an engineer again. Um, but I thought maybe infiltrator or adept. I, I don't really care for um, what do you call it? Words. Soldier. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't really care for soldier because boring. It's boring. All I do is shoot stuff. Boring. I like powers. So, um, I mean, after this, I could do Infiltrator or um, Sentinel or Adept playthroughs, all of which could be quite entertaining because I actually like playing those classes. Personally, I think Sentinel is better in Mass Effect 2 with tech armor being such a beast. Such a beast. Overloading their system. Tech armor, so so cool in this. Basically, it would um, refill your shields when you activated it. And I think it gave you a small uh, uh, an amount of damage reduction, but I could be wrong. But basically, when people were shooting you right or doing whatever, eventually you're your tech armor your shields would run out and it would send out it would refill your shields while sending out a pulse that damaged enemies in an AOE so yeah awesome hey who are you no let's not fight this guy he's too close to me different you you don't smell like this world seven night cycles and that's I good felt right only the need to I, I don't really want to smell like this place you, something makes me speak he's only a it's week because old. i'm hot right it's because i'm hot they must breed them full size ready to kill not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training not Red. much improvement no Sorry. I will um tell me to. But it's not try not to do that again. From Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I the enemy that threatens all my kind. That is what the voice in the water said. That would be a terrible Krogan. I, I really would. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now with ears inside i called it father i heard the it voice not with my ears but inside voice. and i called it father it needs me to be. and that's the story of how liliana became a krogan cure the genophage cure cure was never whispered survive also resist, apparently ignore. those are skype notifications i'm actually receiving in game because i'm looking at mine like live right now as i'm recording this Saren's cure. and i'm not actually seeing Okir anything these so the genophage if not by curing it yeah i have no idea it that's doesn't look like he's had much success with these krogan how did you disappoint the that voice? is a i don't know it was decided before i left tank mother i was not tank perfect. mother he was grown in a tank it's probably crazy, like that Merc said. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. Don't be so down on yourself, buddy. You seem okay to me. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice A voice in my head perfect, told me things. And the teaching stopped. And then it stops teaching me. It was taught enough to be tested, but for what? I don't know, but I am not perfect. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. I don't know what it means. But I know it has to be true because I've heard it a lot of times in my head. Sorry, but I don't know, man. 
she is maybe if I were a baby, parts, which is basically what this guy is, a giant baby, I will show you. maybe I would actually believe that, you know, whatever was in my head telling me things was, uh, you know, something to listen to. Damn, that motherfucker's strong. I'm just gonna throw this shit over here. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna, you know, moonwalk away over here. Things are slow when big things are in your way. Hey, fuck you, dude. You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. You're a fleshy thing here. too. I am you waiting. Just don't know it yet. The voice told me if they come, I fight, but I will not run, and I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. You're very weird, dude. But, uh, I hope you're waiting. And you're not following. And fighting goes well. Question mark? Anyway, so we're coming up to a real pain in the ass portion of Switch this uh, recruitment mission. Which basically involves. A kill zone. See how many times I hit biotic charge in rapid succession right there. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Getting up in somebody's face and blast him with a shotgun. Yes. Yeah, see that Skype noise? I don't have any messages. So what I learned from this is to go to busy. Or do not disturb, or whatever the hell they call it on Skype. Watch out. So, this, not something I would recommend. Krogan are really, really, really tough right in this there. game. They will fuck your shit up. As such, in charging into them, gotcha. and, you know, shooting them, probably not a very good idea, unless you absolutely have to. Now it's safe to do it. But not when they have uh, armor. No, sir. Basically, your general strategy is to soften them up. Ow. Ow. Oh, I got lucky there. Basically, that's what you want to do here. Soften them up a bit. Get rid of their armor. And then use biotics to throw them off of a ledge somewhere. Because that method is actually going to keep you alive. Thank you, Zaid. Um, basically, knocking enemies off ledges is an instant kill. Who knows where the heavies are? Maybe I killed them all. Get me some stuff. Because I like stuff. But there's no stuff over here. Wait, that is a lie. There's ammo. Ammonitions. Hey, look, a dead uh, guy. You're dead. See you later. I gotta go. My mom's calling me. Hey, more dead guys. Sorry, bro. You're dead. And you're dead, too. All of the deads. Death. I don't know, I'm just kind of rambling. There's not much going on, so not much to commentate upon. We're clearly entering some kind of important place because now there's doors with locks on them. Switch up, good call. You know my motto is Shepherd or you know, anytime I play Skyrim, or pretty much any game. If it's not mine, I should probably break into it or steal it. That's the way the world works. And or should work. Yeah, there's nothing down there except some weird, foggy, misty business. Now I realize that, 
you know, maybe Tom, you thought Tom Cruise made it look sexy, but I would not advise engaging in risky business, much less misty business. Let's take that. We like upgrades. We like them upgrades. Pick it up, fool. Not really anything else here, so it's time to go on, especially since I can't goddamn save. Ain't that a bitch? Motherfucker. Yeah, there's no point in leveling that up, because in Miranda's case, you either want to get her uh, Cerberus skill. Enemy I get Cerberus. Uh, you, basically, you want to get her uh, passive. Or warp max out immediately. Maybe overload. Maybe. Bye! So I'm talking about, about those ledges. No! Help! Go! Go! Go, Shepard! Go! God damn it. This is what I mean about getting into cover. And also what I mean about charging into people without. The promise of cover. It will get you killed. And also that other thing I said about being stunlocked. Because that too will get you killed. All of the killed. This should come in handy. Yes, it will come in handy. <clears throat> Many such things that I say and or do and or pick up come in handy. Shockwave this time. Except it didn't quite work. So you're going to have to, you know, clean it up. Shoot him. Thanks, Saeed. You be sure to tell them to sit down some more. We're gonna take a position inside here, so I'm not getting shot for every goddamn angle. And, uh, you know, slowly whittle them down. Tell you what, though. Infiltrator would make firefights like this a breeze. Because you tactical cloak, you zoom in, and you shoot people, and then they die. Ammo! No, you don't go that way. You go this way. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. This part can be a little tricky. Because the way the enemies are grouped. Spoiler alert, you do not want to charge in there. Because there's, I think, four guys on the back end. Yep, there they are. Plus the two on the inside. Knock him down, shoot him. Reload. Have them move up. I move up. Ow! You motherfucker. And that's how you get shot in the side. Would not recommend. Like at all. Would not recommend. not advisable now we got to do it all over again I'll take it maybe they're getting their spot in hell already because that's where I'm gonna send them shockwave worked properly this time then we broke their stuff And then we did the shooting. Hey, stand up. I said stand... Hey, don't interrupt me. That is rude. You are rude. I'm going to make you pay for your rudeness. Of 
for the watch. Also, uh, because I just remembered it, uh, I did mention doing a Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. I've already figured out that I want to um, kind of intro my videos with my own personal rating system. This game is rated F for fuck this game. Because Dark Souls is very frustrating. Fuck Dark Souls. But also, I need it. I need it! I actually haven't had a chance to play the DLC yet, though. Uh, I'm really hoping it's good. Um, I know there's some really neat items that they've added. I really want to get my hands on them. Why am I just standing there? I do, however, also want to pick up the Payday DLC. I really want to get Dragon Age Inquisition and Destiny. And there's a few PC games that I'm also looking to get. Um, Sunset Sea and uh, Trails in the Sky, something, something, something. <clears throat> also considered doing a uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Let's Play. Shoot that guy! Ow! 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 Dicks. Seriously, those guys are dicks. Get to cover Miranda. Or do the opposite and get killed. That's a thing you can also do. That is 100% a thing you could do. Ow. Ow. You guys are some real bitches. And that, dear friends, is why you go for the heavies first. Because they will make the rest of your day a living hell otherwise. Shooty shooty big bang death. Ah. Oh, I've also given some very serious thought to uh, some Saints Row footage. Um, I played a little bit of Saints Row 2 and just. I don't want to keep playing Saints Row 2. Sorry. Um, but 3 and 4 are amazing games. And I really kind of want to do that. Boom! Boom! Dead bodies at Urwars. Anyway. We're going to hack this data pad. And then I think we'll call it a day. Mostly because it's been about 38 minutes worth of recording so far. Um, so this one is actually split up into two. As basically every recruitment mission I do from here out or every single mission is so um with that i guess i will bid ye adieu save my game uh, and we'll see you for next time thanks for watching